What's the most unsettling revelation you've come across about someone you're close to? One of my best friends was caught trying to meet up with a 13-year-old and was filmed and uploaded to YouTube. Used to go around to my cousin's granddad's house down the road years ago, until one day my mother sat us down to tell us that we can't go there anymore, and if the granddad tries to talk to us we need to keep moving. Thought it was weird, but I was 7 so I didn't really think much of it. Years later the guy came up in my mind and I asked my mother what happened. Turned out he molested my cousin several times. My aunt took her dad's side, and my uncle was desperately trying to get full custody of his daughter. He didn't, but the guy died a year or two later anyway. I dated a woman who I was very much in love with. I thought she was the one and I'd spend my life with her. I was very stupid. She was a narcissist and a compulsive liar. There was another woman who she planned to be with. I was simply the temporary girlfriend she was lying to while waiting for that woman to move locally. She lied about everything important in her life. She lied about major traumas she had had. She lied about disabilities she had. She cried in my arms lamenting how hard things were because of those stories and they were just bullshit she had made up for attention. When I realized how much of her was just bullshit it kinda broke me. How could I have been so stupid to fall for this stuff? In hindsight it was pretty outrageous stuff, but she managed to convince me and I became fully invested in the fiction of her life she presented. Fuck you Luna. I'm sure wherever you are you're miserable and you hate yourself. Be grateful for that, you deserve worse. One of my pretty happy-go-lucky co-workers lived right across the street from my grandmother when he was a child. In talking with my grandmother, I've learned his upbringing was very harsh she all, but said that it was an abusive household. I've looked at him a little differently ever since. Co-worker I worked quite closely with once told me he lit a homeless guy on fire with his friends when he was younger. Just casually said it like it was a dumb thing we all do as kids. When my brother was 9-11 yo he was sexually abused by a former neighbor dot. My parents had to have sex to make me. When I was little I had a bunny called Looney I was 9 at the time. I went to my grandparents and spent over a month at their place. When I came back he was acting weird. He ran from me, didn't let me pet him. Three years later he died. And that's when my older brother told me that when I went to my grandparents that time my dad ran over him with his bike. He then went and bought a new one that looked identical. I didn't speak to him for two months after finding out. My ex-partner father of my children, he cheated on me in a threesome with my friend and her boyfriend while I was asleep in next room, I've never been the same after this. My older neighbor who has lived down the street from me for like 10 years apparently murdered his first wife. This happened in the 1979 before I was born. He caught his first wife cheating on him and shot her. He was convicted and got life in prison, but he was paroled in 2010 after serving like 30 years. He got married again and bought house and just put it behind him. As far as I know most people around here remember what he did and just feel like he is a changed man. Crazy. Uncle cheated on my aunt. Nothing unusual right? Except, he was wounded in war. His guts were out, lost half of them. He cheated with the nurse while he was in the hospital. My aunt did not divorce him, but it sure put into perspective way she hated his guts for years. Many years ago, a young woman I knew was murdered. People immediately pointed fingers at her ex, my neighbor and lifelong friend. The moment I left the land of denial, and accepted that someone I had known my whole life not only killed his baby mom, he had been abusing her for years, was harsh. All I could think of was the times I had defended him. It took hard science that was brand new at the time cell phone pings to prove to me he actually did it. I was super close friends with this guy as a child, but after middle school and certainly after high school college, we didn't stay in contact much he stayed in my hometown and I move around. Come to find out, he was s hang young boys as a teacher. Thankfully he is in prison for it. If it were up to me, head rot in prison for the rest of his life, but he only got 25 years. Found my buddy's reddit account by accident. Checking it out, and I see he posted a question years back about catching salmonella by accidentally dropping a raw turkey and it brushed his penis. My grandmother was married for over 50 years and never saw my grandfather's penis. That the person has a cruel streak. A childhood friend of mine ended up cutting off his girlfriend's head. Super nice guy. My mom's doctor appointments were just them going to the bar for hours and getting trashed. From 2-14 her and my stepdad would disappear to the doctors and would come back saying they are tired and need a nap. Finally clicked when the doctor's appointment turned into a week of my parents being gone from the house when I was 11. They brought home mashed potatoes they had already eaten for dinner. My stepdad drank himself to death, and when he was paralyzed from the neck down she was bottle feeding him vodka. She's still drinking the same and married a white supremacist. I'm so confused on how I'm my mother's child. 
I don't even like being drunk. I had an acquaintance from high school, a metalhead dude. At some point we were chatting online and he wrote this long thing how in the future he would like to have a normal job, but also be a serial killer. I'm 90 sure he was just fucking around, but you never know. My brother just did 23 and me and found out my great grandma who swore she was full-blooded Sue was lying through her teeth, lol. Zero Native American.